It has exponentially exploded. I mean, people are visually far, far more literate than they ever were. Uh, there are, I would, my guess, I would say there are probably ten times as many shots, cuts in a film today than there were 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can show things today that would have just confused people 30 years ago. Shooting off axis, mismatches, mixing of styles, mixing of color stock and black and white. Uh, you know, it, it's all the various generations. So you had a generation that came out of vaudeville. You had a generation that came out of uh, New York theater. You had a generation that came out of Europe. You had a generation that came out of live television, a generation that came out of film school, then you had a generation that came out of uh, commercials and advertising, and now they're being supplanted by the generation that's coming out of the internet. Mm -hmm. And each of those generations, I was in the film school generation, is being informed by the culture that, uh, that well, informed them. And when you describe this much more complex technique that's used today, your style is very different. Well, on this film it is. This is an old-fashioned film, old-fashioned people, old-fashioned style. Much closer to Max Ophuls than Tony Scott. Mm -hmm. And that was done intentionally. It directed the way I could have directed it 20 years ago. I've done a film since that I've done in a much more contemporary style. Uh, both in the camera work and in the editing uh, and in the camera uh, placement uh, and the color schemes. So uh, it, it was an, an, a decision to make this an old-fashioned film. 